This was your first, that was your second, that was your third. Yep. Not bad at all. Yep. Larry Brown has dedicated his life to archery. Can you describe the feeling you had when you first pulled back that bow well, and arrow? My father, one day he took myself and my two brothers out to a garbage dump in Queens, got a cushion and taught us how to shoot. And that's how it started. And I've been doing it ever since. You didn't have a coach? No. He wasn't just missing a coach. His bow was carved from a neighborhood tree. <laughs> actually, actually, everybody thought I was crazy. They said, they said, bows and arrows? Who shoots bows and arrows? Everybody's playing baseball, football, basketball. I'm, I'm, not, I'm in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> and the next thing I knew, I had, I had other kids wanting to learn how to shoot. Growing up in a tough Queens neighborhood, Brown's skill launched him into the Ivy League as head coach of the women's archery team at New York's Columbia University. Columbia had 14 students for four years. Varsity, NCAA, Division I, the whole nine yards. But when I went to tournaments and I didn't see any black and brown children, I said, you know what? I'm in my 50s now. Let me make a little change here. Let me have that, please, that blue case. It was a big change. Brown stepped away from Columbia and went back to his roots in the public school system, teaching archery basics to hundreds of New York City children. Let me put your bow on here. It wasn't about a job, it was about a mission. Uh, and that's what made it much more comfortable for me to do. And I've been doing that for now, going on 16 years. Brooklyn native Dallas Jones is one of Brown's prized pupils. He dropped it down just enough so that it went dead center. So you first came here when you were 10 years old. Yep. And now you're 16 and you're nationally ranked. Yes. And now you're getting ready to compete for a spot on the United States Olympic archery team. Yes, sir. I can tell it's gonna be a fun experience. I'm not gonna try to put too much stress on myself. Archery is about having fun. If I don't have fun, there's no point in doing it. Dallas Jones. Jones is the first African-American in history to win a U.S. national archery tournament and has his eyes fixed on competing in the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo. Do you see yourself not only as a pioneer, but also as a role model? I certainly hope so. I can be a role model to um, anybody else that didn't know really too much about this sport. I surely hope I can get more people into the sport, and especially people of color, and not just to section it off. I want to get everybody into the sport. When you see how successful Dallas has been, what goes through your mind? The same this joy and happiness, to answer your question straight up. But the success that I see with him, I also see in children who don't get as far as he did, but they came through the program and they learned from it. One of my students who started the program here in Brooklyn at 11, she just got her master's degree. So they both rose to the top, different fields, but they came through the same channel. Is it even or what? Even. Brown's teachings impact students well beyond just the bow and arrow, <laughs> imparting wisdom they can carry with them even off the range. Okay, gotcha. The greatest reward is them. I mean, outside of a medal, outside of getting paid, outside of all the external attributes, the true growth is the reward of a living person doing what you taught them to do, and it changes their lives. You don't want to clap this. This should never 